Okay, so hi there everyone and this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com So it has been such a long while since I uploaded a video uh, Things have been really so hectic and busy so um yeah But anyways, I don't want to waste any of your time so this is really more of an astrology update date um regarding the year of 2022 especially on the next few months as we um, enter you know the new year and this is going to be about saturn combustion you know meaning it, it means that saturn is currently invisible um it just started uh like uh, yesterday um it started to wane down and this is because the sun has now entered the sign of Aquarius. So it means that Saturn and the sun is slow slowly meeting up. And this actually means that, you know, Saturn, the sun is basically slowly burning uh, Saturn, you know, in a metaphorical sense, I, I would say. And um, at the same time, I really feel that uh, the moment that Saturn goes combust, we can actually feel some form of distinct energy because Uranus is now direct. You know, Uranus has been in Taurus and it will be um, in the next uh, six years to seven years around until 2026 or so. Uh, and and Uranus direct is nothing new, you know, whenever it actually goes retrograde every year so it's not really something new but whenever it goes direct you know it's um i would say it's not that it's bad or good it's just that the energy of uranus comes in very strongly it's a more prominent i would say um they um in ancient texts uranus retrograde is actually better because everything is internalized that uranian factor is very much inside of us you know it's happening in a very psychological sense and stuff like that but whenever uranus is direct we you know the the events that happens for uranus is very much externalized it happens in a very physical manner it happens in a very physical reality kind of sense so um for many people who have this um saturn conjunct uh uranus you will actually quite notice the the huge significance so uh, it, it feels as if Saturn is weakening and then Uranus is becoming stronger. So your Uranian personality or your Uranian aura comes in very strongly and it's quite hard to control it, I would say. Because whenever Saturn and Uranus is conjunct, uh, there's an element of manifesting something or there is a there is an eccentric energy but at the same time you can actually control that energy and uh, make use of it quite strongly and have that self-control but an element of impulse really balance out but whenever uh, you know something is missing over the other it's either you're feeling restricted or you're going wild and you have no control over yourself and everything like that so that is just you know a very interesting factor for a lot of um, saturn conjunct uranus person if you have that in your natal chart but uh going back to the transits uh saturn combust gives an element of you know surprise i would say uh whenever a planet goes combust or invisible there is always an element wherein that planet um functions in a very unpredictable manner and i'm not gonna say that's going to be negative i'm not gonna say it's going to be positive because i have find that whenever a planet is combust it's it always occurs in a very unconventional manner like you cannot predict it uh, maybe because there is an element wherein you cannot see it that's why you you really cannot you know you cannot um really predict or make plans on how a certain alignment or planet is going to function like for example whenever a planet of mars is in combust a lot of people would say that mars is going to be weak and stuff like that but i always see that uh, combust planets uh, really manifest in a very 
unpredictable manner. It's like they are very wild. They act in a very wild manner. So, um, I would say that the, this Saturn combust energy, especially from the late January of 2022 to February 2022, this energy is going to be an element we're in. It can manifest in a way that it becomes weaker in a sense. Like, it's hard for you to control yourself. It's hard for people to control their self, to control their emotions, contra control their thoughts. They are more eccentric. They are more wild, I would say. And there is always an element here we're in... Um, you might do things in a very undignified manner um those things can really come into play you know uh, because saturn is a very dignified planet it's also the, the planet of time the planet of karma so i would say that um the actions that we take during this time should be things that we really, really need to think about whether that is the right decision or wrong decision because it feels as if Saturn is sleeping right now. So the limitation and restriction is definitely going to be lessened. Um, that is really, that goes for everyone. Uh, if you feel that Saturn is like a burden to you, it's like Saturn always blocks your path. A lot of, you know, people who encounters this kind of energy with Saturn will find it as if that Saturn is suddenly becoming kinder, you know. Saturn lessens that, that barrier and you are now able to take control of your life. You are now able to do things that you were not able to do. You are able to have fun and, and all those kinds of things, really. And it's always a wonderful energy, I would say. Um, it's just that, you know, there is always a notion that whenever Saturn goes direct once again, um, uh, sorry, whenever Saturn goes visible once again, it's like a police, you know, it's like uh, someone in the law or the government goes finds the criminals and goes finds you and you're going to pay back. Uh, you're going to reap what you sow, basically, you know. And <laughs> if you did something wrong or if you did something very immoral, um, that will come back to you in some form of way because of that karmic energy of Saturn. So it really depends, I would say. So it's not going to be like that for everyone. Um, in a nutshell, I would say that this is that time we're in we are able to pursue the things that we wanted to do that we we tried ourselves to hesitate upon so it's not always going to be a bad thing but it's not entirely always a good thing either because whenever saturn is invisible it feels as if our security is weakened and you will probably notice this especially for you know a lot of people around the world um sickness is going to be very prominent like a lot of people getting sick a lot of people getting weakened you know there's going to be a lot of flus you know it's easy to 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 spread viruses and stuff like that uh, during that time so um the element of protecting yourself comes in very strongly and if you are working with you know if you are in the esoteric field if you you do work with magic and occult i would say that working with your cleansing and protection in a very consistent basis is going to be things that you will want to do and you will want to practice in your life because our protection is weakened, okay? It's easy for people to throw things at you and stuff like that. And whether you believe in that or not is going to be up to you. But um, everything in this world is energy, basically. So the shifting of energy can create some form of difficulties um, one way or another for each and every one of us. And that's just, you know, a very common sense. And I think that everyone should know this, that, you know, um energy comes and goes and you might encounter negative energy and it's not always something that people throw at you it's 
it could be something that you have picked up uh, by talking to a friend or with someone that you know or from entering uh, a certain location or a place or entering a classroom even or it could be things that you tell yourself that brings your energy down so it might be your own fault as well so energy cleansing is going to be very prominent you should be doing a lot of cleansing work protection work all of those kinds of things especially when a saturn is invisible now the energy of uranus comes in very strongly because of this saturn saturn combustion because uranus is like an aha moment you know it makes things really tick it makes us like explode and do things that we usually would not want to do so so it feels as if the guard or protection that we have or blockage that we have um is being cast off and then uh, some form of charge is pushing us to you know to go free to <laughs> to push things beyond control and stuff like that and your, your uranus is an energy of electricity of lightning you know in tarot that is signified by the tower card even so there is an element of you know a sudden burst of something so there is an element of you know sudden surprise and stuff and and things like that so there could be things that are breaking down breaking free there could be things that you know will make you want to push forward with things or it could also be a very genius idea and going beyond what is traditional or normal i would say those are the things that can really come into play um, of course uranus depending on where this is in your chart um can create some form of you know um if there is a stagnant situation right there it wants to tweak that to change that uranus basically likes um change and likes transformation so um whatever house or placement it is in it likes to do something in that mm, location basically to get the energy moving so um and if we try to resist that energy um uranus is basically you know uh, it's like that notion we're in you should not wait the universe to do the change for you because that way you will have no control over things so um yeah i also noticed that when this is aspected in your eighth house or second house when we shape or form this could be an element wherein you might be spending a lot of money and that really is um the energy of this you know uh, saturn invisible and uranus direct because saturn if you're trying to stop yourself from buying something if you're trying to save money and then uranus is direct and you've always wanted to to purchase that item to purchase that service and stuff like that that will make you want to purchase it and you might even go all out because this is an element we're in it's not just opening opening up doorways or passages but it's making us go all in go all out and, and really take that risk and so it's not always a bad thing but it's going to make us really go push forward with certain things so you might um work on certain projects that you have been holding up to and stuff like that so i really feel that this is really might like a go signal and really a very charge up thing and the elements of this activation it's not always something that is accepted by the norm basically so there's going to be an element wherein um we want to do things because we want to do them you know not because someone is pushing you to do it not because it is the right thing to do or uh, not the right thing to do we want to do things because it's something that will liberate us that will give us a sense of freedom it's something that will make us happy you know it's something that makes you feel so much at ease in life so it's like nothing can stop you everything's really gonna move forward and we will really notice that you know as the months go by um especially uh um 
you know, starting, I, I would say, February to August. Because during that time, that is, you know, the Uranus direct energy. Uh, Saturn will definitely uh, be um, visible once again. And that can stabilize the energy quite a bit. But I would say that this is really something good. You know, I won't say that it's a bad thing to have Saturn invi uh, invisible. Because sometimes you needed the push. You know, okay, sometimes we needed to remove that barrier. You, you need to remove that wall that you put between you and a certain person, maybe, or a certain uh, situation. You needed the push for things to get going, basically. You know, you cannot just keep flushing the toilet when things are really clogged. You need to unclog that, basically. And that's um, the energy of this Saturn energy of being combust and having Uranus um, direct. So it's forcing us to change. It's forcing us to transform something and to, to find answers that we would never have imagined or thought about in the past and be willing enough to to create some form of experimentation to to do things um that can bring in and manifest a lot of interest to a lot of people and since it's, this is an aquarius energy as well having saturn in the sign of Aquarius, this can be something to do with the media or the internet or it could be something to do with technology even you know and you know, maybe achieving something that we've never done before, removing that blockage with that. But at the same time, having that uh, can cr also create some form of disturbance when it comes to our own safety net. So going beyond our comfort zone kind of uh, um, creates that um, electric current it's like having electricity under our skin so at the very i would say that um at the beginning part of the january i would say it can make people be agitated be like nervous and stuff like that as if you know as if they are about to do something crazy <laughs> like it's like having that intuitive feeling that something is about to happen, but you still don't know what it is. So it's really creating that kind of moment. Uranus also has a lot to do with magic and occult and, you know, esoteric kind of energy. It has a lot to do with robotics or astrology even, you know, divinations and stuff like that can really uh, create its own manifestation and Taurus is really to do Venus which is all about um, beauty maybe or um, money in a sense our comforts in life love so all of these things can be really coming into play so our personal relationships with people can pretty much change and have some form of breakthrough and it can really be positive, I would say. Or it is going to be a sense where and we just go we are all going to act based on what we want, you know, our true feelings and our true emotions, I would say. It's going to be uh very prominent with this energy in place. So um yeah, we are living in very exciting times and I would say and um yeah. This is also going to be the time wherein we are much more willing to talk to people, socialize to people, to take the risk and connect with people and show ourselves in the world, basically. And it's, it's enough for hiding, you know. We are willing to take the risk, but we need to be more, I would say, responsible or we need to be sure of what we really want because there's going to be consequences of each actions and each decisions that we come into play. But um, yeah, that's basically it for me. And uh, I'll try to share some insights on monthly forecasts once again. Hopefully I find the time. Uh, but I think it's going to be different with how I post things. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys later or tomorrow and bye.